The next beetle is the southern pine beetle. And the southern pine beetle, again, is a small reddish um, beetle. It's going to be very distinguishable between the ips and the black turpentine. It'll look similar to the ips, and if you think it's an ips, you have to look for the rear end missing. If there's no rear end missing, then it's the southern pine beetle. Um, another thing for the southern pine beetle, when you look at the galleries, the galleries are S-shaped, so you can see all these S's in the gallery pattern. So that's what you're looking for. So S-shapes in the galleries for southern pine beetle, which is distinguishable from the H shapes or the Y shapes of the Ips beetle. So S-shaped galleries. They also, when they bore into the tree, they always bore in on top of the plates. So if the boring holes, the entrance holes, are on top of the plates, that's another sign that it's southern pine beetle. Ips beetles will always bore in the crevices in between the plates and southern pine beetle always bore in on top of the plates. So if you're looking at a piece of bark, um, that's another thing that you can look at between the S-shaped galleries. If the entrance holes are on top of the plates and you have a small red beetle and that will let you know that you are looking at southern pine beetle, vice, ips, or black turpentine beetle.